Continue. Continue looking like a dick. On the secret email network, by any chance? No. No. Not really necessary. Oh, not necessary. No, it's really that interesting. But well, you, I don't know about that. Over your public email. Sorry. The point is, we don't know what interesting things you are doing over the private secret email network. That well, I'm sick of the networks. Well, you do have secrecy contracts, though. Or you did? Yeah, you did. You, you signed secrecy contracts. You didn't sign secrecy. Contracts. No, that's so, well, secret. The, the secret agreement pertaining to the redistricting class. I did. Yeah. So why did you do that? Because it's a standard confidentiality agreement. I mean, between the type attorneys and clients. But it, in this case, the client was not the Republican legislator. The way the attorney client privilege works. The client was the way the attorney client privilege works. Is the attorney client privilege pertains to the client. Mm -hmm. Right? Who is the client? Are you going to listen to me or are you going to keep interrupting me? Sure. Since I was the client, they wanted me to be very aware that if I talk to anybody about it, then that destroys the attorney client privilege. No, the client is not The client, yes, the client is always allowed. That is not true. Privilege. That is not yes. true. If I talk to people outside of that attorney client agreement, then they too can be compelled to talk to people outside yes. that attorney client right. agreement. Who was That's the what the agreement said. The contract was between the law firm and the legislature. The Senate assembly. And the, assembly. the assembly, right. actually. So assembly leadership? <coughs> the, assembly. the assembly. The assembly. So how come how come Carpet? Yes. Was, was he also a client of the law firm? Is he is he the assembly? Yeah. Then he was. Was he granted the same information? I don't know what he I'm sure he got, I'm willing to bet, he got, he got as much information as I did. Did, well, was he, was he, did he sit down with a lawyer and offer to sign, to have him sign a secrecy agreement? 
That's not giving me information. That yeah, was. You knew that there was things that, that, was, that necessitated secrecy. That is information. I know that there are things that necessitate secrecy so what every is, day. What is, ignore every public, what, is, what is Robin Voss saying ignore public comment? I mean, uh, you'd says, have to talk to Robin about that. Oh, I mean, you work very close with Robin. I wouldn't say that. We're huh? colleagues. Okay. You were both uh, active Republican leadership in the Assembly. Did that might be fair. Okay. Um, so yeah, there's, there's been, and, and according to several Republican legislators, these secrecy agreements were, were never before utilized during the redistricting process or other legislative processes for that matter. You don't have to ask those legislators that said that. Have you signed secrecy non deliver agreements pertaining to the drafting of legislation before? No, it's implied, actually. It's implied. So, no, so draft, drafts. Yeah, actually, actually, if you were to say, if you were to read this, you can't get it. That's just implied. How is it appropriate to have capital staffers positioned off site in a private law firm spending the majority of their of their working time doing doing non government work? Working assembly with their staff and their hard work was provided by by private by Because we don't we don't want to spend most of the money on additional GIS software. Okay, so you just you gave you gave you them a salary. Gave them a you gave them a salary. So you gave them a salary for them to do work for law. No, to do work no. for the assembly. To do work for the assembly. In law. Right. Right. Okay. And how is it legal under the First Amendment? I, I'm trying to figure out how assembly rules trump the First Amendment, as in silently holding signs or filming in the galleries. It's an observation area. Yeah, sure. Sure. Do you ever go to Congress? What's a camera? Sign camera. Actually, yeah, I have. They don't, they they don't let you take your cell phone in there. So they don't let you wear a belt in there. They also you don't. Take a pen into the they also don't have the same rules Wisconsin does in the okay. same transparency. Talking about what's the difference between our rules and the Constitution? And I just told you the place where the rules are much stricter, and they apparently are still constitutional. So, so, so clearly, our they have a lot of other stricter rules too for a specific law. reasons. A law. Oh, you guys are both talking. We have a law in the books. Wisconsin State Statute 1999 specifies that the government must make reasonable accommodation right. to allow any citizen to videotape, audio record, photograph any meeting that is open. So recently, because of Justice Prosser, they determined that the, that the Wisconsin open meeting law does not apply. So How is it not an open meeting when, when Wisconsin Eye is in there and when the galleries are open? Right, so, so that, therefore I should be allowed to photograph. No. Why not? Because we have a rule against it. No, you don't. You have the rule. What is, what is the rule say? The rule say that the, that the sergeant at arms must maintain the court. Where is the rule written that no cameras are allowed? Right there in the. Right, there's one right. sign. So that is not an assembly rule. There's no one sign, there's a sign. There's, it's written on a sign that's placed on the Right, so there you have it. So there's a rule. It is not an assembly rule. I say that it is, some, it is an interpretation of the court. Is that fair? It is not a rule that was written by the assembly, it was not voted on by the assembly. It is not an assembly rule. There is a rule book that right. calls assembly rules. Right. It right. is not located. Right. There is it located in that book a rule that says no microphones does it allow that are designated to pick up a conversation from over 10 feet away. Right. So that is that is a rule that the assembly made. The rule did not make a rule, but the, the assembly did not make a rule that says can it allow. So to shut off the audio. No, this camera, this microphone is not just made a picture of conversation. No. The Supreme Court has ruled, though, that the state has to create a compe compelling time, manner, or place restriction to place restrictions on that free speech. What is the compelling time, manner, or place restriction that is being used? I mean, what is the compelling interest of the state to restrict free speech or freedom of the press in this particular instance? No, the Supreme Court with Snyder versus Phelps has ruled that the state has to the state has to present a compelling interest under time, manner, and place restrictions in order to restrict that sort of free speech. That would still apply in the galleries. So what is the compelling interest? What is the time, manner, or place? Well, there's a free flow of information and interaction between the state's lawmakers. How does holding a 12, how, how does holding by a sign no bigger than a piece of paper create a disruption? How do you express yourself? That's good for a public hearing, but not good for the chamber. So you're not free. Observation, so you have no you have no free expression in the chamber, and you're standing by that, and you're standing by that. Okay. Okay. Is they could produce their own reports 
so they can take pictures and write a blog, write a news report, or something like that. You cannot utilize this archive kind of footage in that means. So you do not have free access to the footage that you request permission. No. Yeah, you can't, but there's a yeah, written request. Yeah, you can. Right. And well they not they, they are a private organization that is right to deny that. But right. so, it's just off hand with the mind. They they might actually take you up on it and try to. Yes, that and so and you've been turned on every time? Yes. And then when there was footage that I was that I was restricted from, from gathering myself, I was at a place wanting to gather a speech that someone was making on the floor, she might as well report that I was going out. I tried to come in and I was and they told me that I couldn't go out and be dressed, so I stopped. And then took a piece of Wisconsin Best footage and I included it in my locker report. And so then I do Wisconsin and I reported where Wisconsin and I reported that they do, they got them. So there is not there is free access to information is not there. Maybe we should look at an exception. I don't know, but we should all think about that. Or there's an easy business solution. Allow citizens, you know, what, what is guaranteed by the law, to come into a zoo with everybody from other teams to record everything. Why? Well, 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 who do you think is going to want to do that? <laughs> the people who are already there trying to do that. I understand. And what the worst thing is, is that there's no means of comparison. It would be easier to do it. Congress could have caused more problems. Sure. Yeah, make it available to them. Maybe we should look at Maybe we'll look at that. Yeah. But then you also have the issue of, of I mean, the Wisconsin Mike doesn't film so let's just cast that vote. If yeah. people knew, and it's true, people, yeah. the people vote multiple times on both sides of the aisle. They don't have to vote all the time. And that is a shameful act. You should be, if you're going to be voting, you should I'm be present. I'm not sure that that's what really it means. What it means is that people's ideas and minds are made up before they It means that they go into forum. Really? And, this is news to you? No, no. By the time it gets to the exactly. floor of the assembly, all the minds are made up. Right, so, so you were admitting that the floor debate, the 19 hour floor debate, was what we are now for to be. We have more to Any okay. Any floor debate uh, is meaningless to you, uh, and you will not take into consideration in consideration. No, no. So I've seen it actually. Yeah. Sometimes it does. Okay. I've so that, so yeah, that's yeah, so they've got the what's in the budget or the budget repair bill. Uh, but even three years ago, <laughs> so the point, yeah, point, the point, the point is, is, there are legislators who don't feel like it, who feel like their mind made up, and they can go to the to the foyer or the bathroom for a long time for the entire meeting, sit up there and have their their. I don't know that anybody goes to the bathroom for a long time unless it's in this. If this happens, we want to know about it. Okay. <laughs> Some leaders spend a lot of time in that bathroom. And they go to the foyer. I'm not thinking that they're too big of themselves. They're not going to take an off again. They're not going to take an off again. They're there all the time. They're not recording their hours. They're breaking their violation of the body. No, they have to record the fact that they were there. I guess it's not one on one. They have to be the audience. So they're they're lobbyists. That there are legislators who have their mind made up. They leave, and then they're have their own team. Which makes you think I'm the parliament. In the parliament, we do have a rule against the lobbyists. The point is, the legislators were not casting their own votes because they said to the seat mate during caucus a couple hours earlier, "This is how I'm voting on it." Well, how well, well, likely they don't say that? Well, the times they're having dinner, they're having dinner on the floor, they're having dinner in the trash. But people have food on the floor all the time. You have food on the floor. Food on the floor. This entire set. I actually never caught it, but I know it happened. Right. But I never caught it. Right. So you got nine members. Right. Right. Yes, I would. Get the first thing. Or they miss the vote. Thanks, members of the debate. They're, they're human beings. You know? right. So they go, they go at a time when they're going to get home. They go, they're going to be here. It's going to be nice. Very conversation. You know how much people talk. You know how much people talk. How much people talk. Yeah. Some, sometimes yeah. they're yeah. 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 But the response shouldn't be a lot of citizens, especially when voting on a bill that will severely limit people's access to the Whatever the bill is. I mean, I understand. This is what we talked about the other season. I understand what the concern is, but it's just natural. People talk to each other, talk about different pieces of legislation. They use if I miss that, they can't do it on the floor because that's, that's disruptive. So if I miss a vote, if I miss a Tuesday, if I sleep through an election day, I can't. I can't have my Tuesday vote. Generally, not how that works. People aren't in their offices sleeping. That's generally from Okay, well, people sleep. I, 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 I have seen it. People I've sleep seen it all the long time. Right. 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 Brian Moore does it all the time. Teaching that there's a lot of labor. Uh, uh, probably. Labor. My bad. It's going to turn into So we change that. Now we use that. Black plastic sheet taped up over the windows in the Thank gallery. You. There are two ways to open doors. On any building that isn't this building, that would be a, a fire code violation. There is a, a two way door that had a window, and you know, put there by the architect, the designer, the person who designed that room, so that you can see through when you're walking. If there was a child who was walking into that door, and someone was pushing 
out. If it was a child walking into that door, that window is too high to see that child. Right, but it's not an adult walking out. You wouldn't be able to see the child walking out. You wouldn't be able to from that window. Anymore. Are you kidding? The window, the window goes to here. If I'm an adult walking up to it, I will see someone walking out. And any kid that's this tall should be looking out as well. We should know. But the point is, they can't look out. That's or, a or, 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 or a full grown adult is walking up to the door, pushing it, and someone walks out with haste and fucks up their fingers. There's a window in for a reason. In other buildings, it would be a violation of law. There is no fire code in this building. How is it was a, a safety hazard to black out those windows? What was your rationale? You, as a public leader, you're going to say that. Black we had people violating our rules. What was the rule? Filming from outside the room. So outside the gallery is, is, is correct. Like, so then if people are violating the rules, why don't we leave the windows clear and, and, and do what you do when anyone else violates the rules? Because, because if you did not because have our disorderly conduct citations were not being enforced by, by Dane County. Okay. So what, so dis, what is disorderly It's a lot better to prevent so wait, crime than to let it happen and then deal with it. So during the sunshine, so, so okay, but it's not a crime, it's a municipal ordinance violation right. either way. So even if they did enforce it, it crime. still wouldn't be a crime. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So do you think filming, filming the legislators that have inaction is a crime? No. Well, no, yeah, we weren't giving crimes either. We were giving municipal ordinance right. citations. Right. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so, um, so you cover up the windows because it's, e it's easier to suppress. It's easier someone. to prevent malfeasance than, 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 than to prosecute. Okay. Do you think it says something that none of the none of the charges brought to the gallery have been pursued by the county? No. You don't think that says anything? Well, I don't think it says anything close to what you think it well, says. Well, what do you think? What do you think that applies? I think it says Dane County doesn't enforce infractions against Republicans. So okay. that's what I think. Okay. And in fact, Noble Ray just as much as said so. What is Noble Ray? Noble Ray. He's he's a he's, he's not at all involved in the, in the Dane County. Right. Community. I know, but he would be. Part of his job is to protect the people in his city. Sure. And he said during all the fun that happened 14, 15 months ago, Republicans should be aware of their surroundings and watch their backs. And find a safe place. And find a safe place. <laughs> That's what he said. That doesn't sound like he's looking to protect us. I mean, enforce the law. But if I remember correctly, there was a lot of protection that was wanted and requested that was going up and beyond. I mean, locking this building, for example was a, a way to protect the people inside from right. violating the law. Do, do you agree that when they, when they lock the doors, while they're still busy things no. about inside? It's not in the circumstances they can be treated separately. But, but a judge, 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 the assembly. Well, the meetings law doesn't pertain to the assembly or the senate. Right. Well, yeah, it should. Uh, it should pertain to both. Should it? Well, it, it doesn't. It, no, but until like last until last year, it did pertain to both. Uh, no, it didn't. Joint meetings. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. No. Did change it? We haven't changed over meetings law. Right. No, you didn't change it. You just stopped applying. No, there, no, there were perhaps. Right. Otherwise, we could have closed caucuses. Yeah. Think about that. And why did the Republicans um, send, it? speaking of closed caucuses, uh, a while back ago you discussed in closed caucuses, um, it can, someone from Dan Nodal's office was going to be going to Turkey to try to find jobs. Um, if you couldn't find jobs in the U.S. I don't, I don't think any of us understood the value of the Turkey trip either, so. Yeah. Oh, what was <laughs> I didn't go to Turkey. No, 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 but, some, but a constituent from the Republican caucus did. The Republican caucus? Which one? The beer and bread, the beer and bread. That was a huge gathering of legislators yeah. talking about policy. Right. It yeah. would, but the open meetings would doesn't apply to the assembly in the but Senate. So was that a, did they vote to make up the closed caucus? Was there no, a they didn't have to vote. No. no. The caucus is open until it's until it's it, it, it doesn't have to be. But this was last year. A member of a member of your caucus did go to, to Turkey, correct? Yes. Yeah. To look for jobs, correct? I don't know what they I don't know what they were doing. Was that on was that on Okay, the, the, the memo said that it was to go try to find jobs, correct? When I said I was a memo about going to Turkey, I was like, this is a waste of time. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I, we can agree on that then. We can agree on that. Okay. Okay. It was not. Okay. okay, we can agree it was a waste of time. It was not. If you, I look into it, if you, if you find it. It was not state money that paid for those. Okay. We can agree it was a waste of time, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. No, no, no dissent from this sector. Okay. Does the Senate Majority Leader have to vacate his office, the Senate Majority Leader's office, when he is no longer the leader of the Senate? I'm not exactly sure what the rules of the Senate are. Part of the problem. 
problem is, is that the body's got a, a tradition of flipping midterm, and it's happened before, and you have some of the older guys like Rissler who understand that it. it's not necessarily worth doing, but it just, it, it, it just is, it's not good for the overall body. So sometimes it's just left in place. So it's so, 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 it's going on both sides. So there's kind of this notion of, well, go we'll along, get along, keep the peace. I don't know what they're going to do at that point, but it's, it's possible. And so if, if Walker, if Walker, if for whatever reason the governor is, is unable to fulfill the duties, the lieutenant governor steps in. Is the lieutenant governor is unable to fulfill the duties? Is it the secretary of state that takes over? I believe it is. Yes, it is. So that means it doesn't follow the territory. Constitutionally, it stops. What, and, uh, uh, there's a there's, 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 there's a statute yeah, which for is the line of succession, but there's constitution. The constitution has it laid out that it goes to the secretary. And there's after that it's sanctuary. So all hope is not lost in the file. No, you might be able to get a wind up cow into the governor's office, right? Well, I, uh, I'm sorry. 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 <laughs> um, try to be fair with you. I'm not. Do you, you want to? Yeah, I, I just said. I just said. I don't have fair. I mean, I, I agree with most of you guys. Not in my voice. I don't have any. There wasn't. There wasn't an accusation in any way, shape, or form. Cool. There are those who don't say that. There are. <laughs> and, and, and if you, you should check out this website, it's called Big Government. They do some amazing work on that front. It's hard to get this stuff together. And, you know, goofy folks. Yeah. Yeah. I watch a Daily Show too. You should see how they edit. Well, when you got that, when you have, when you have time, it's one thing. <laughs> but anyway, when you've got a five-minute speech and you got a six-minute segment, you got three other speakers. And I get that. Yeah.